Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode one hundred and episode one hundred and eight of the TTV podcast. Where What's up? today we have but one topic to discuss, and that is Bionicle. the colored Bionicle twenty fifteen oh. leak, which has recently emerged. There is a leak. Yep. This is news to yes. me. Yes, there we is a leak. We grew it in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So yeah. This is gonna be exciting. Who knows how long this will go? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The machine really is a great start. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, now, here we go. <coughs> straight into the name. Yeah, order, without further we... ado, we have some stuff to discuss. So, the name order. Hello, I'm Messina. I'm Vardaran. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Viper. I'm Venom. <laughs> I'm Arrow the Chronicler. And joining us today, we have two new people. Yes. First, let's introduce X Trooper. Hi. And Takuma Nuva. You're sure about the people part? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, things. Two new things. Yes, there will These be. These are our new cast members. There, there will be a proper announcement later on, but this just kind of happened, so we got to roll with it. <clears throat> so. Yes. Hello and welcome to episode 108 of the TTV Podcast. And now, we are going to get into things. And man, there's a lot of things to get into. So, what we have here is a colored version of the display picture, but it is not, in fact, the same display picture. It is a different display picture. Yeah, so we can already, right off the bat, tell how concepts work. So we, we saw the what the original display looked like. And from that, we've already got changes in design here, unless this is meant to be a completely different display, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, I guess that's also possible. I suppose. But um, it, it goes without saying, this is definitely some real imagery here that there is no way this is faked. Yeah, at this point, there's it's impossible. Yeah, and... It still looks very concepty. They, they're not real boxes. So everyone can keep saying, "Oh, well, the perspective is off." But yeah, correct. So, or why not? Well, first of all, I guess we can say this is from highly suspect. This is another deliverance from mm -hmm. our source. I prefer you some highly suspect. Thank you. Highly I thank suspect. we thank you very very much for delivering this info to us. Thank we, you, Illuminati. We still don't know what's in the box, but this is good enough. Yeah. The Comic Con box. So without further ado, let's discuss. Right. One thing right out the gate. Puhatu is brown. Puhatu. Puhatu. Puhatu is the color of I've been seeing that my entire life. So, like, the <laughs> <toy toiletries. laughs> Puhatu. Yes. I'm a little confused. Puhatu is the one with like the two blades, right? Next to Liwa. They look yeah. like the drone yes. stormer. You sure that's brown? That is brown to me. Okay, I, I hope so. It, it, looks, it does look a little brown and orange. It looks like it could be either brown or dark flesh. I sincerely like so. uh, Toa Oniwa. He, he from... looks brown and yellow to me, or brown and tan. It looks hard to tell, it's... but I guess that's the gold. It looks like there's gold throughout all of them. Yeah. It is not Jersey Shore orange, so... See, I'm happy yes. with it. Looking at Pohatu, it's kind of hard to tell, but the uh, Stone Defender looks very or, or looks very brown to me. So I don't know. Yeah, it does. So here's here's hoping his color scheme is somewhat intact. But I guess the first thing to really say about this is they're they're radically changing the color schemes for like ev everybody. I wouldn't like, say radically. Say that. Really. I'd say radically. Not well, radically. well, I guess no. not. I mean, I guess I, is I, yeah, perhaps radically is a bit of a different bad word to use because they all have they all colors, them. hopefully, but the secondary Com colors compared. are being changed. No, no, no. Yeah, See, I'm... now I disagree with that. I'm not sure if... I mean, sure for these sets, yes, the secondary color is technically being changed, but I'm pretty sure the reason there's gold is for story relevance here. I'm not sure if that's yeah. the official recolor change or anything. Like, I, I don't I mean, think Ta the... is now red and gold, or Ko is now wa or white and gold. I think this is specifically just for this line due to some kind of story plot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, compared to the Fantaka and Mystique, I mean, these guys are practically loyal to their original colors, so... Yeah. Very much so. And that's another interesting point to 
bring up, like, uh, speaking of loyalty, we definitely have a Howl. We definitely have a uh, Akaku. We definitely have a Picari. The interesting thing, though, is that the Kakama, the Cow Cow, and the Miru look very interesting. And we don't really have a very decent shot of them. They're kind of either turning or they're further away from their, uh, I guess, image than the other three are. So judging the details of their masks are a little harder. Very true. I can already tell that I've been giving the Miru, like, uh, I've been putting on the grill this entire time. I can already tell it's very similar in shape and look to Jimmy Stringer 3.0's helmet. Now, before you yeah, brutally murder me, Jimmy Stringer from uh, Savage Planet. It, it's very squat. It's kind of like a little bit of a closer home reference would be Onua Mystica's mask. Yeah. Because you can see the eyes. It's kind of cut off by the shadow. But it does hold some minor semblance. I can almost tell it's a Miru. It's modified. It looks like it's way more swept back. But you can see the holes for the mouth. Yeah. It, yeah. These are definitely modified Kanohi. If you look at the uh, top of the display, you can see Ka- uh, Tahu so clearly now. Um, He is definitely wearing what appears to be an original Hal, Hal Mata, but... It seems to take elements from the Hal Nuva. The shape of the overall mask is a little more towards a Hal Nuva. At least, at, like the top portions, the sides are a little brought out more. It seems I, to be. I, I, I feel like it's from both. It looks like hands. an original Hal reimagined. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah. I feel like I'm looking at what Tahu Mystica should have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Wait, man. Like the... Didn't like the ninja face and the shuriken. No, the... Oh, no, I love it, it, it was Tahu <laughs> with a unicorn. The Kari does I mean... look a lot more similar in this one to his Mystica version. If you look at it from the picture, you think? I think the Bakari looks straight up O one Bakari. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Same here. You know, it might just be his back then. It looks a bit like it's going out, but that might be. Just I think me. that's his back. Yeah, I don't think that's I his mean, mask. Th- these pictures are not clear enough to really make out anything other than Tahu's. Now, if you look at the big gold mask that he's reaching for, uh, is it just me or does it have a nose? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's it kind of nose. has a nose. Which one? one Tahu? Oh, yeah, Tahu's. Yeah, it looks like it's it has big, a nose. It's all a conspiracy. First they started with teeth, now it's the nose. Humans are it's not even just a nose. It has eyebrows, yeah. too. It's like angry face mask. Uh-huh. So it looks, I think it's just the lighting, almost actually. I think it's the lighting thinking? of that. Whatever. What is the special thing about yeah, this mask, like really? Is this the mask of, like, resurrection or some we something? Don't know. A lot of people have been speculating it's the mask of creation. Yeah. Uh, it looks very brainy. It's the, ma- it's the mask of creation. I am so glad. I am so glad that, there are, that all these sets are going to be coming with extra masks. Me too. To add, so now I can add it on to my mask collection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, another uh, in a way, are back. Another thing I've just noticed that I, I wonder, it, it looks like maybe the secondary mask there that comes with them might be the same mask, just a gold reversion. Because looking at the Kopaka set, that golden yeah, mask just looks just that. like a cow cow. It really does. It looks mm-hmm. a lot like the, the Tola Mata ones. I believe that's yeah, what it's like. Like, I quite like that. So mask. actually, I think you're right on the money. Yeah, so I'm wondering if the secondary masks are the same mask. So that might give us a different look at the mask that we're looking at here. So like we can get a better look at the Kakama that way. Actually, I, yeah, uh, I'm I'm starting to see it now. If you look at um, if you look at Liwa's secondary mask and you try to find those details of those masks on Liwa's um face, I guess you would see. You'll actually start yeah, to see. I kind of like see those it. black things on the side of it. You can clearly see it on uh. The right side of Liwa's mask. Yeah. Yep. I, I do I, not I know how Liwa's mask look at all, though. I mm-hmm. cannot s- just get anything from this it picture. It is very really. hard to tell. Yeah. yeah. So. Meanwhile, but the Kupaka one is really, really clear. Like you can even see. I mean, he looks like a Titan as well. Wow. I don't so, know. Yeah, this, this... yeah. I'm. I'm so satisfied knowing that because that means that all of these Toa are going to be coming with their own um, golden mask. Mm-hmm. That makes that so would be awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. That's I really. It is worth noting that they're all, all, also only finding their own gold Kanohi. They're not mm. finding like separate masks. You're not doing any of that. Yeah, they're finding they're specifically their own. Which, How convenient. Um, hmm. Which makes uh, me wonder what the mask that that spider has is. Maybe it's exactly. the Krakan. Maybe. 
uh, particular uh, mass yeah. creation. Out of curiosity, the eighth, the eighth character, like the the new Sawblade, like reddish character there, he also does not have a mask in his box uh, at all. I'm pretty sure he has a mask. It's just white, and the background's obscuring it. Yeah, you're dumb, Who? Kai. Who? Wait, Who are you who? talking about? Uh, guy with the, uh, the, uh, spider. Underneath saw. the spider? Up, upright, upper right, direct upper right. The, the white, white, white defender. Guy. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't believe the defender. No, are okay. you, like, talking about separate masks or the masks they wear? I'm talking about the guy underneath Skull Spider. The That's the red guy? Spiders. He doesn't have yeah. a mask. He's a defender. Yeah. What are the defenders? Do we know that? Are they just well, no? We don't. Control? We don't know yet. From what it appears, though, they're going to be filling in the role of the Matoran slash Agori for this wave. Yeah. As, oh, Agori. As, the, oh, as the good guy, small sets, because they are clearly fighting spiders. Um, yeah. What they are and what their origins are going to be and their purpose in the story is undecided, unknown as of now, oh. but. It looks unknown. They, they're they're all wearing what looks like the same mask or helmet. So the, I, I'm really wondering what their role is. I just what? realized something. What? Hmm. If you look at the spiders, most notably, if you look at the spider next to Liwa, it appears as though it is a blue skull with legs sticking out of its jaws and its ears. Well then, that actually that just this looks kind of grand. Whoa, 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 Is that that might be the mast on the spider, but just gold? Yeah. But, actually, here's the thing no. with the spiders. From this image, we can absolutely confirm they are constructible. You have to put the yeah, legs yeah. on each individual spider. Oh, yeah, that, as we like those suit. are the legs. Hey. If you look on the gold one, it looks like it has like these four places where you can connect the. Carol Factory claw thing and things. Uh, it actually looks like we're going to be getting two different types, two to three different types of legs. Look at the water defender, then look back at Liwa's. Oh, yeah, they are. Different. Yeah, and then look at Pohatu. Uh, if, if, if I yeah. can jump yeah, in right here real quick. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, I, now, I was kind of curious at first that they only had, like, one villain set for the entire lineup, but now I realize if they're including, you know, one of the spiders in every other set, or at least in the, the little Defender guys, I mean, you're going to end up with a freaking horde of spiders by the end. Exactly. Yes, you are. Great? But just as many Toas and Matorans, though. Yeah. So it, uh, no. That's It'll... the thing. There's some question yeah. as to whether that's going to be the case. Mm, well, hmm. I mean, that actually is... An interesting point, LJ. I wonder if the spiders are actually included in the sets or if they're just part of the CGI imagery. That because is, yeah. we got word of <coughs> I'm not sure if we're allowed to talk about this. Act Go dun, on. Dun, just don't mention any I, details. Okay. Uh we got word of another display that isn't quite this one that um is a dispenser type display that would carry uh, several small Collectibles. <gasps> oh, and, oh, crap. Oh, my God. Keep, keep going. <laughs> and we aren't sure what these collectibles contain. We haven't actually seen the display. Miley Suspect just noticed that there was a full an order for a dispenser. Yeah, and they, he said it could be Dude. nothing. It could be a misunderstanding. Yeah, so... He has two crossover. It'll so, be just like my dream if... No, 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 See, the thing is... dispensers can know he... Yeah, that, that's the thing. We're if it, it Even if there is a dispenser, we're not sure if it's dispensing can know he or skull spiders. Yeah. Yeah, they do because my... When I heard of this, my original thought was they would very likely, in order to get, like, a ton of different enemies to fight the Toa, because... Let's be honest. Let's assume here, hypothetically, that this is the winter wave for Bionicle. There's only one quote unquote official villain set, unless three of the defenders end up being baddies. Right. Well, all of them end up being baddies. But not all of them. They wouldn't, because they on all the all packaging, all. they're fighting the skull spiders. Yeah. At least half of them would have to be. Now, evil. I forget because it was kind of jumbled, but whoever said that the gold mask and the skull spider set is the spider piece in gold, I think you're right on the money because <laughs> I can see the clip ons. And that's I, awesome. I said that, right? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, 20 points to me. <laughs> now, oh, I, yeah, I almost wonder, that is true. I almost wonder if, what if the skull spiders... Okay, well, I guess that that mask is the clip-on mask that the spiders are made of that would defeat the idea. But I almost wonder if the skull spiders, 
if if the dispensers were going to uh, dispense skull spider sets, I wonder if they would also include a mask that could clip on to the spider. That'd be cool. And maybe that's where maybe that's where they're collecting the mask from. I don't know. Um, that's just. I'll be, I'll be quite honest. I don't think that would be the exact same piece. I actually think it's a separate piece. Same clip on system, but it's a separate piece. Maybe like the grand daddy o of the skull spiders, or heck, if you look real close, doesn't that look like the upper part look like um, a crocan? That's what like I the, said. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know that, that idea was already stated. Red, it, it does kind of look like that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna like. <laughs> then everything's gonna People be okay. Gonna credit LJ about this the new cow cow looks a lot more like the Nuva cow cow than the original Mazda cow cow. <laughs> Moo. I'll be quite frank. The gold one almost looks like a mix between a How and a Miru, and then the blue one looks like a Volatex. Looks like Mega Mind. It's really the the Mega Mind. Like looks like a Volatex. Gally's mask. Gally's mask is definitely the hardest to make out. Of yeah. It's like what in the world? It looks like I wonder if it's gonna be trans. Maybe parent. she is man now because Greg Frosty or something. I don't know. Great. That that, that actually does look transparent. Now that you mention it, kinda. <laughs> I love her weapon, though. Yeah. That's an awesome weapon. Yeah, the weapon looks really cool. Golly, I can see right it's through. It's like a trident or something. Yeah. Dude. Like, what if, all their, what if of... all their weapons were based off the Greek god weapons? <laughs> yeah, speaking of weapons, we, we can clearly see some weapons now. Liwa is what wield, is wielding what looks to be two axes. Poatu has got some two, like, scythe-looking things. Golly has got a crazy, awesome-looking trident. Um... Poatu, I mean not Poatu, Anua has what looks like some kind of a mace or something. Reminds me of Nora. Yeah. Root <laughs> reference. <laughs> and um it looks like uh Kopaka's got some kind of a harpoon and then some sort of sword thing. Could well, be that shield. Thing is also Could on be a shield. Yeah. On his yeah, that, I think yeah, whatever piece Kopaka is using looks like it's also uh used for Tahu to make up his lava. Uh, uh, yeah, lava blade, yeah, which I'm, I'm assuming like breaks apart. Which I'm assuming breaks apart to become his swords. It looks like Tahu might actually have some More like daggers. Weapons. Tahu has a ton and of weapons, two swords. He has like two small fire daggers and then yeah. the swords. And I'm actually impressed because the lava board does look to be made up of many different pieces. And these sets love to use those Hero Factory fire, ice, lightning pieces because Kopaka yeah, uses them. Yeah, you see those lot of the them. defenders. The fire defender uses them. Like every every other defender uses them, and they make good use of them. It's I really nice. like this because you can see the clear um evolution, like the. From a Hero Factory uh, invasion from below to this, yeah, there is a very clear evolution to this. It's like they did invasion from below, and they were like, you know what, this would have worked really better if this was Bionicle. And then they're just like, let's bring back Bionicle and just do this idea again. <laughs> let's bring better. back Bionicle. Yeah, let's do it better. <laughs> I just yes. yeah. the, all the, the bring Lego back hunting. Bionicle nuts of vindication. The bring Lego back no. what Viper. All right. The guy like they're like sat in the 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 big table and the Lego meeting, just one guy just stands out of his chair and puts his hands on the desk and goes, guys, let's bring back <laughs> Bionicles. Exactly I'm a Bionicle. <laughs> let it, just I, let it go. <laughs> I'm a Bionicle <laughs> activist. <laughs> okay. I have, Can I point I out have one complaint that I want to voice. Oh, it's right, that, go for it, ha, ha, ha. Also, anyway, anyway, I have one complaint. It appears that Tahu's, uh, the lower half of Tahu's legs Will be those Hero Factory torsos in red. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, it very like good observation. Whoa, I very, that. very good observation. I am sad. That was the only thing I can't stop staring at this whole time. <laughs> Aside from the fact that they're all using that giant, bulky Hero Factory chest piece. Chest <laughs> thing. I just, I just, who will be pretty big. Yeah. I gotta say, it, yeah, it looks like the Toa this go around are gonna be very large sets. Uh, more, uh, more keen to a Hero Factory's um, breakout line. Oh, it, that's gonna be expensive. Yeah, but I also have to say that the defenders look really, really well built. I like uh, the jungles. And diverse. Yeah, they look they very. They seem diverse. to have a yeah. lot to them. Um, I think they upped the thing with like. In terms of armor and yeah, a little bit com more complex there instead of just the normal three or four 
Exactly. Like, and it looks like since, um, once again, a natural progression from Hero Factory, the Defenders were the heroes of Hero Factory. So it makes sense that the Defenders would have much more diverse and interesting builds this go around than the Matoran of yesteryear did. The blue one Which Defender looks very interesting to me. I'm really curious I, about this. I can't stop sport. looking at the uh, Stone Defender. He just looks really yeah, cool. Yeah, I love the dude's weapon. I'm not sure what that is. Is it like a drill is supposed to be? It, it looks like another uh, trident of some sort. Where is he? I only see five He's defenders. Next to, they're on the top. Uh, the yeah, stone one's next to uh, the, the the water and um, the, yeah, jungle. In between the water yeah. and the jungle. And yeah. then the fire to oh, the bottom right. Oh, yay. The brown one. Yeah. yeah, the fire one is the very, very bottom right. The jungle I want. one. Oh, there he is. Hello. That dude has like a shoulder mounted <laughs> gun. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like, um, what's it called? The boat. You uh, travel across the um the swamp with them with their they got giant turbines on the back. Kind of looks like one of them. Yeah. Hey Kahi. Maybe for swimming. Hey. The video's up. Hey. Okay, cool. I do want to point out something real quick before I go and start spreading this video everywhere. No, do it now. Hurry. <laughs> look at look at the poster. Look do at it. The poster. You can see Tahu with the mask, and I'm assuming that's the Lord of Skull Spiders down in the bottom right. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. All right. Who is up above? That does not look like this word of skull spiders. Yeah, I know. We have pointed this out since day one. We have pointed this out since day one. I have no clue who that is. This is confirmation, though, that the word of skull spiders is not the ultimate villain. Yeah, the word of skull spiders is not the main villain. Now, however, there's, it's not any recognized. Feeling less... I'm actually feeling very less confident <laughs> about the uh, reboot idea. I all, This really makes me feel like it's a continuation of some sorts. Yeah. I hope, I hope so. I still want those dinosaurs. I, I don't dinosaurs? mind. Dinosaurs? Well, it is worth noting that each of the characters has a background that corresponds to their element, and Barra Magna didn't necessarily have that big of a connotation deal, especially since all the villages are now destroyed because they were all pulled together to become the modern Nui robot. Yeah, where does it, this really take place? I hope they really went with my idea, the whole thing about the whole Agori and Barra Magna thing never actually happened, but I don't think that's the case. A uh, retcon, then? I'd love a retcon. I don't like Agori and stuff. Mostly, <laughs> I want to know, like, because how would Lewa fit into all this? Because he was separate from Everyone else, when Bionicle captured, quote unquote, ended, he? no, he was with um, Helrix, Artaka, oh. well, and yeah, the few other out. ones. They like where Makuta like teleported them into space, and they wound up on like they wound up somewhere on Bodum Magna with yeah. all the dinosaurs or whatever. They were Hashtag from Bionicle everyone else. lore right there. Bionic, the story was the thing that really kept me in Bionicle. I cannot lie. Yeah, Lewa was separate from all the others. Very so true. He basically, so he ended up in Transformers Cybertron thingy movie with the dinosaurs. That's my theory. That's the only I'm thing I'm pretty sure. Think. Like they're bringing back Bionicle because of Michael Bay. Yes, <laughs> Michael Bay. He did some. Chan- chances are, like, they're either gonna retcon that and just say he was around at the time, or or something. That that that's. Or, all the serials will probably. See, if it's a continuation, think, all the serials will probably get retconned. I was gonna say, I mean, Greg Farsh doesn't seem like the one who would just go and retcon something to me well, instead Lego of like, does. so to speak, explaining it away. Lego won't. Like yeah, he doesn't. But the story, the story. Yeah, I know. Le- Lego's gonna want to drop some of the stories. They want this to hey. be approachable. If it's the, if yeah. it is a continuation, which it probably will not be, then the serials will be dropped. And what Viper? It'll be the indoctrination theory. It was all a dream. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> no! No! Don't! Oh, don't do it, man. Not. No, no. It turns out that we were in the alternate universe all along, and the one with the white and Makuta is the good universe. Wow, that sounds <laughs> racist. That's it. I mean, I, I just want to remind you that uh, Greg did make Huki and Maku not canon anymore. I'm just going to point that oh, out. Oh, come what? on. I... <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Well, that but, is... yeah, yeah. Um, another observation: all the defenders wear the same mask, so while they may be the small type sets, what if this is like a three-way conflict? 
They're the Toa, then they're the Defenders, and they're defending. They they're like robots or something. Yeah, they don't that's what care I'm thinking. Who I'm they're thinking fighting. Like I'm thinking the Defenders are going to be more in line with the Bulrock as far as personalities go. Yeah, they're kind of true. they're like not necessarily bad guys, but they're going to do whatever they can to get the task that they've been assigned done. Ancient robots awoken from the archives. Yeah, basically, yes, something like that is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. So I I'm very interested to see where this story is going. I am I, invested now. Come on, Lego, give us some details. I think uh, I it is very confirmed though that Bionicle is coming back now. Oh no, yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. No, it's been for a while. I, I, I put in the title of the video Bionicle 2015 confirmed because the player is just not to be confirmed. There is no doubt. Everyone in the comments are just going, ah! <laughs> it's going to be like that say... one part of the Guardians of the Galaxy's trailer where the song starts playing. Ah! That's the comments right now. So to recap what we know about from this, what we can glean from this image, Tomata seemed to be hearkening back to the Mata more than the Nuva. Kopaka seems to have some sort of large, bladed, harpoonish weapon and a shield, possibly. Tahu is Mata red in gold. Has a lava board and two blades of some sort. Mata green and or the lighter green from the Green Lantern sets is back. Yeah. In some shape or form. Galley will very possibly have a light trans blue armor mask joint system. Brown, very likely back. All the Toa have some semblance of gold. They also have all of their Kanohi masks in gold. I'm telling you. Defenders. Divided up the golden armors. Dude, I'm gonna, get, <laughs> I'm gonna have to start saving money because I'm planning on getting every single one of these. Yeah, suits. same oh, here. Oh, I just yeah. had a thought that I'm gonna walk into Target one day with a buttload of money <laughs> and I'm just gonna buy all the sets right then and there. To, I'm just gonna take them all off the stands and chuck them into the. Oh, yeah, I, I want these now. <laughs> uh, I've got yeah. my decal money ready for this, so I'm all set. When I see these, then I'm not, I'm not even gonna up. like. Look, take the time to look at the bags or anything. Just I'm just gonna get them all, even if I accidentally take duplicates. <laughs> I'm taking them all. No, you gotta, gotta put say... them all in the bag. You're gonna get to check out. You're gonna find out. You put just Omega Tahus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be like, I got financial aid for college. Sweet money for Bionicle. <laughs> God, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I'm Screw thinking right college. now. Bionicle. Well, I'm still gonna one thing I do I'll wish to point out as much. on Liwa's box, if you zoom in all the way and you look at his name, it does say Liwa, but underneath it you can also see Master of. Oh. 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 So. oh. So. oh. You know, I find it, I love that it cuts off right after Master of, so you, we still don't... Wait a sec. No. Oh. Hang on. Oh, Astro goodness, Granola, is that an E, I, C? You can see L, E at the very end. We can't see on Taho, so he might actually be Omega Taho. We don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, correct Astro me if I'm wrong, guys, but if you if you zoom in at just the right point, can you guys also see what looks to be... I can't see anything oh, yeah, I see below it. Master of. It just looks like I a white thing. I, see, I can see it. LNG. I can see Jungle. I can I quite see. honestly see jungle because I, I, can the jungle. See, I can see an E and I'm it looks like I can see an E. It looks, it like, looks like a long word as well. Yeah, it does so. look like air. It can be pixels. master of Vietnam for a while I know right now. It's just jungle. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't me. Rip in peace. Air. Can we just can we just do like a super duper mega speculation thing in the thing where we can just go over all the parts that are familiar? That's kind of what we're doing here. But yeah. if you have any observations, feel free. I'm noticing a bunch of stuff. Well, uh, the legs were established. To... I think the Pohatu things look like the drones and um, the blue um, defender thing. Uh, no, the one. The other blue one has a uh, the mace thing that we've seen in Black Phantom. Oh, the stuff black like and that. One. I believe that's the land uh, Earth Defender. Oh, oh seems snap! To be purple. And yeah. the spider has the Chima spider leg thingies. Woohoo! And then the defenders all obviously have the new legs thing. <laughs> so I'd just like to to point out all the defenders. Yeah, they all have the same mask. Uh, purple, very likely back from the land defender. Guess what, guys? Black and purple, 
Kestora confirmed. Uh, speaking Fucking of purple, yellow. speaking of purple and secondary colors, Anua is black and purple with gold highlights. Is he? Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah, I'm oh, well, yeah, yeah, I can see the purple. That's epic. Onapu's legacy lives on. I was going to say. <laughs> stole my Hashtag Onapu is back 2015. I also just realized that, man, I have to update my Omega Tahu mock to have gold instead of orange. Yeah. Also, speaking of secondary colors, it looks like Liwa is green and white with gold. Which uh, that doesn't look white. That looks, looks like, like the, silver. The legs look like white. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they could be silver. But yeah, white like is the closest silver. thing I'm going to. It looks like I, I can see blue. Did I miss anything? I can see blue on the uh, legs of Kopaka as well. The uh, fire defender has the same color as Lua's legs on his chest. Yeah. Is Lua. Does that uh, go that far yet? For all we know, this image is like really bright because we can't even see the ice defender's mask for crying out loud. So for all we know, Pohatu isn't Pohatu isn't uh, brown and white. He's brown and silver. I I can see I can see the white defender's mask. Yeah. I I can see both personally, but that I don't the, the think mask looks, looks exactly white. the same shade as Pohatu. I, I think <sighs> it's definitely a silver shade. Yeah. Yeah. I have to disagree, but all right. I kind of think it's yeah, silver. Barbie, no Barbie. Green and so white. Some of us just have better than others. It looks kind of green, purple, yellow, white ish. I think it looks like mahogany. <laughs> and. I think it looks like. I cannot get over green. the defenders. Honestly, I am very impressed with their designs. They look really cool to me. Yeah. They look very humanoid, though, but like humanoid army ish. Like. I think they might be multiples, if you see what I mean. Like, the, you can imagine, like, no, like uh, an army or a hive of these. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely from the... Uh, I'm, I, they seem like they're all going to be very like-minded or not have free will as much as the others, since they're all kind of, not clone sets, but they have the same face. Yeah. Uh, I feel they like they're going like to be... like Baki. Yeah, they're like Baki or Borok. Borok. They're going to be very hive-minded. That's what I'm getting from this, but I'm not sure. I, upload this to I am then my very happy with these designs. I know they're using Hero Factory parts, and I know that's going to upset a lot of people. Oh, yeah. But I do not kind care. Of these, me, but... these all look really yeah. nice to me. Yeah, well, I... I agree. Did anyone even expect them to, like, change the construction system? No, because... no yeah. it, for me, it wasn't so much that. For, I would have liked to have seen just maybe a little less Hero Factory. <laughs> like... Like, when I pointed out Tahu's legs being the Hero Factory torsos, they could have, I don't know, I would have imagined that they could have just gone with a completely different mold for that instead of just uh, shoehorning. Yeah. I'll be quite yeah. frank. I'm glad that they're still using the HF system, but the aesthetic does still look Bionicle-ish. The masks are very detailed. There's detailed armor, maybe new yeah, armor guess... on, on Tahu's arms. It looks like even... You see, on the defenders as well, especially. Yeah, you and can I guess... see the armor being connected on the sides more so than on the front, and that gives them a more spiky, rough feel. Yeah, they are yeah, a mixture. They are a mixture of Mata and Nuva, and the Nuva were also pretty smooth as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess what I'm really asking for is more Bionicle aesthetics rather than Hero Factory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's I, I we think, get that in the future. I think we're yeah, we're gonna get more of that in the future. This is still the first wave. This is right after Hero Factory, so it makes yeah. sense that they'd keep the Hero Factory part. Yeah, they kind of want to adapt the audience of Hero Factory yeah. to Bionicle. Plus, so. we can't really expect them to sh like bring in a completely new amount of parts nowadays with the right. increased quality and uh, yeah. pricing. That being said, right, guys, uh, I gotta I gotta drop out for a bit. So okay. right. I just wanted to say before you leave, I agree with you about the lower legs on Tahu. I'm not a fan of that. Just me yeah, too. Looks, but Bye. hey, whatever. See you. All right. I don't really mind. Yeah. I'm I, interested in seeing what it looks like on set. Also, everyone should also be aware that when Hero Factory first started, they were the star sets with a little tweaks to them. Exactly. And right. And they became their own building system later on. So that could potentially. Oh man, be these toll are gonna to build. Yay! These toll are gonna be. Expensive man. <laughs> there's, there's some people that were speculating a while back. They were saying like, um, I, I doubt this is going to be the case because the sets don't look that much bigger. But they were saying like Tahu and Kopaka are like twenty dollars sets, and the other Toa are fifteen dollars sets. 
but I'm not sure about that. Because I can see Lego charging 20 for Tahoe, but they wouldn't do that for Tahoe and nobody else. Mm. Mega Tahoe. Kopaka looks rather Titan-ish. He has like... Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, uh... Honestly, all the Toa look very Titan-ish to me. They look like Titans. The only ones that but Kopaka looks and... bamf. I would imagine the pricing would match uh, HF uh, first wave a bit more. Like, the Defenders might have the hero prices, whereas the Toa will have the villain prices, but... I uh, that's wishful thinking. Yeah. Will they be using bags or like boxes? Because Bag? to me it looks it looks like the defenders have is really thin and stuff up there. So I think we might ha uh, Ex expect the defenders to be bags and then the maybe I'm that is a really good question because we to this day we still don't really know. The original picture that we saw had box instructions like box foldables. That was the it was like a blueprint of boxes. So from that, I would say that these are boxes. However, I'm still not convinced because it doesn't make a lot of sense that they would introduce the bags for you know to save money and then just get rid of them. So that is a very good question. I don't think they're gonna be they're obviously not gonna be canisters, but um it could still be bags because from what this looks like it's, it's really just the front of the box and or bags, just the cover art. So it's really hard to tell. It could, once again, mirror HF01, or 1.0, where we have uh, the <clears throat> larger sets in boxes, but the smaller sets in bags, like you mentioned. So, yeah. It's also worth noting that LEGO did, in fact, get a uh, an environmental award for using those bags. So, they, like, it's not just something they decided to use and it was cheaper. They also got recognition from other, you know... Using bags for things, you're so yeah, innovative. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, the, the using bags will probably save the sets, um, or we'll be able to raise the sets part count because they had to spend plastic on each canister too. Exactly. Speaking of part count, down on Kopaka, right next to his gold, uh, gold mask thing to the left, we might be able to decipher some numbers or something but i'm not I, sure what those that are is. the age ranges you could see them on uh -huh. some of the sets the defenders are 6 to 12 the toa are 7 to 14 kopaka kind of looks like it says 8 to 14 which may say he's a titan oh yeah know. that says 14 and the piece counts and set numbers are a little bit harder to read unfortunately well, yeah. well i don't really have them in stores because Lol, you're it, but man, Liwa's name is so clear to me. I can definitely tell that says Liwa. It's him and his and Pohatu Liwa and confirmed. Tahu are the only ones that I can really look at. So. I can't read Tahu's, but I can read Liwa as clear as day. Yeah, Liwa, master of blank. <laughs> it's nah. jungle. I can see the jungle there. It's a long word, and I can barely see an e at the end. It's definitely jungle. Uh, oh wait, guys. We're stupid. Look at the Defender. The Jungle Defender. It says Jungle. Defender in small text yeah, above I Jungle. Uh, I was just going to point out. We just got wrecked. My eyes must be terrible because I can't read any of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it says Defenders and then Jungle. At least it looks like that says Defenders. I, I'm not really sure what it says. Welcome but to Defender the Jungle. It, there, there's definitely a long word in small text, and then right under that it says Jungle. Yeah. I see yeah. Smudge Splotch Blot. Smudge blood. <laughs> yes. Liwa, master of canon. <laughs> hey, whoa. He ain't stealing Talk my to job. Master of Brown. I also, this is probably self explanatory, but the water defender has yellow turbines to, like, swim through the water. The turbines. Yellow it, or gold. We don't it really looks like know. orbs. Yeah. Or something. No, it actually looks like. They're floaties. Those. It looks like the Bionicle logo is kind of fading away. Yeah. What's that gold at the thing text? that's, like, to the right of the... Back. Yeah, it might be a mask. Wait, a gold like, thing to the what? Uh, to the right of the logo. The, on the title. Is it, like, a half and half yeah, mask I see what you mean. kind of thing? Or... It looks like the Anika or the mask at the top. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. Like, to the right of Bionicle the on the box, the there's a on gold the, on the box thing. <laughs> oh, 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 on the boxes themselves. Okay, I, I was looking yeah. at the display. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've got no clue what that is, honestly. But um, 
Yeah, but what I was pointing out, like, if you look at the actual, like, logo, the text, it looks like uh, the gold of the text is starting to fade away to reveal, like, a silver. You're right. Very uh, Harry Potter-esque, you know, back when <laughs> uh, they started going to the darker years, things started to go silver, and then uh, Deathly Hallows, it was rusting away. Yeah. Bionicle's back that's, and That's what it reminds me of. Ba- Bionicle's back, gritty and dark, like never before, with such amazing villains as the Lord of Skull Spiders. The Skull Spiders. <laughs> this I'm is nothing like Hero Factory. We are super scary. You must buy. <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's... You know, I find this interesting that no one's made note of this yet. Hmm. So, Liwa's eyes are light green. Tahu's eyes. Tahu's are blue. Yeah, I just... Yeah. I noticed that, but I didn't really... I'm not down with that. Well, I, you see, I'm not even talking about the the large Tahu reaching for the mask. See, his underarm is like well, this weird orangey color, but his arms aren't that way in the set, but the eyes are still blue in both. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tahu's feeling blue. Actually. Huh. Got oh, right. okay, yeah. Uh, I, I can definitely see with Tahu that they have a red shoulder armor and then a gold shoulder armor that clips on to the red. Uh, okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Kopaka looks really buffy by the yeah, looks of it. Yeah, he does. He looks the beefy. shoulders, like he looks like you came to the wrong neighborhood. Speaking of beefy, <laughs> Anua there is definitely using Hulk Hulk chest plate I swear. there. Where um, they sure. are making up for the Mystica and the Fantoka with these guys. Onua is the complete opposite of was he what he was in 08. Oh no, yeah, yeah you are right. He is using Hulk chest plate. Okay. I like that. That's that's a nice Onua has way more personality than I've ever seen him have. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering though, is there any like functions visible? Hmm. Well, we yeah, have like, no, gear. no, no gear functions, I don't think. But uh, for the, not that we can see, at least. We do have for some. For the jungle. Wait, what? Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. For the jungle yeah. defender, it looks like he has a, like a crossbow or a bow and arrow. It might be able to shoot project projectiles. Oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah the this does beg. Well, this does beg the question. The the red defender definitely is shooting something. He has a shoulder mounted. Wait cannon. a second. It looks like a cordax. They, they all have. These blasters. Viper's right. Look at the jungle defender. Look on the side of the bow. And oh, yeah, little... yeah. It's firing the oh. same. And then the and look, you can see that on all of them. That's on the uh, on the turbines. Staff. I know what that oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. You I got know on... what that is. What is it? What? That is on the Chewbacca, I mean, Wookiee gunship thing. You can see a rotating, like, projectile shooting thing. It looks exactly like that one, and that oh, one is okay. actually able to shoot. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You are absolutely I, right. Yeah! I've yet to see, yeah, I've yet to see this Wookiee ship. <laughs> Let me go. Me, yeah, I have no I idea. Will, we, will, we shall link to the Wookiee ship. Please do. Uh, yeah, here, I got you guys. Okay, thank you. Oh, this was like... Yeah. I, I want imaginary points. Wookiee. Gun. Yeah, there um, you go. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is um important, but the pedestal, it's got patterns on it that kind of look like the Nuva cubes. Like the blue. Can anybody see it? Yeah, that's nice. a it looks to me more like just blue goo. Well, yeah, I think I'm it's just blue nothing. goo. It's gag. But it's kind of filling in the patterns. It is filling so. in the cracks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's no. just cracks, though. I have exactly. no idea. Well, I'm just going to go with yeah, like, what it might be. necessary what? arbitrary runes. What is the uh what that what mm. I think it's far oh on the oh, go ahead on the thing on the top display on thing, the little right? pedestal thing yeah on the yeah, top on the mask yeah I forgot what that means pedestal yeah I can see that just to kind of maybe a hint or something maybe just you know mediocre ruin patterns but I don't know we also, we also see the things on this planty thing so we might have a poison ivy cameo <laughs> but. Wouldn't count on it. So I think. Just, let's see. We have launchers. The Karzani plant comes back. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the king root, or whatever it's called. We have no, no, oh, no, 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 not, not more Buzak. More Buzak's dead in my opinion. I think the other Karzani. functions we're gonna have are more basic stuff, like the weapon splits apart and forms his swords, but then they can combine to do the lava board and. Who wants flick fire? That uh, the stone <laughs> the stone defender has like the the. Whatever that is, and you can spin it around like HF set to have stuff like that. The turbines can spin on the water defender. 
stuff like that. Kopaka's ability is to murder you and your family. <laughs> I still can't get over that, 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 that. I still cannot get over that Kopaka has big gold shoulder pads like bulk. I know. Yeah, right? he, looks, he looks like a hockey player. He just yeah, he just steals the show. He is Canadian. Kopaka is Canadian, confirmed. He's wearing the uh, ricochet armor from Halo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitten a lot mean... of crossovers here. <laughs> you know, this all makes me think. Oh, don't there do There are that a too lot much. of new pieces, more so than we've seen in prior Age of Construction waves, at least the last two. Yeah. There are a lot of specialized pieces that I'm seeing here. Yeah, same They're here. They're weapons. They're putting a lot of money into this. They did. They, I am so impressed with the weapons. The weapons are what's getting me. They all look so oh, cool yeah. looking and unique. Conspiracy. Just everything's impressing me. They They're really going back. To the old color, well, most of the old color schemes, their looks, their weaponry, their colors, they are pouring a ton. Man, this better work. This better be as successful as being. They are playing a gamble here, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I they heard all these are successful. They are feeling ambitious. They're I guess, I'm gonna I guess feeling very confident, that's for sure. I will Makes contribute so to this. <laughs> I will as well. I definitely I'm will. a little unsure because before I thought that Onua had like claws but now i see he has a giant weapon of some kind and i don't know what it's it got is. like a mace of some yeah, sort it's, it's or a hammer. Mace. like a big yeah like a hammer a giant mace hammer yeah thing. but it, it it's weird it doesn't, <gasps> MC use, it doesn't use the mace piece it's way more elaborate so i don't know what yeah it is. well it, it looks like it's using multiple parts it looks like it's axon's hand put onto like a stick and those are like axon <laughs> fingers <laughs> It's one of the snake paracas carcasses. He just froze it. And just... <laughs> <laughs> He's a paladin from World of Warcraft or something. I All know. I can say now is I'm excited to see a reveal at Comic Con, and I really hope there is what one. What's in the box? What's so, in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> what's in the box? Quickly, so that... someone, go to Comic Con and break the glass. I'll pay you. Don't do that, actually. That's an awful idea. But still, you know. I'm just what does the quickly, box I'm, I'm looking oh. at the comments of the prior video that, where we announced this. It's just a lot of people spamming going, ah! Well, yeah, people are flipping out. People have started to pray in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. Why are we going to help all... these people find Jesus? <laughs> Christmas in July and Mardi Gras. Like I don't even know what Mardi Gras is. It's all... Yeah. It's like a Christian news uh, reader on Ted that's like, look what Jesus did! Look what Jesus did! That seems very unpract. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Somebody says, but they use Hero Factory pieces. <laughs> well, no, duh, they used HS pieces. You should have watched Autopsy. It's... Yeah, I know, right? Well, I don't... Well, Autopsy was right. <laughs> I don't understand like how they... in the description. people don't get that the construction system is made by TLG to stay, and it's not. It wasn't made specifically for Hero Factory. It was made as a like base on construction and stuff like that. They used it for like Chima and the superheroes and stuff like that. Like whatever happens to Barnacle and everything, they've made that system to stay. That is what Lego basically has done. They made a lot of changes and things. For continuity or, or whatever, they like this is yeah. So we won't really. I don't really think that we'll see a complete a lot of difference uh, in the future in terms of these sets. Like from, for example, the Hero Factory 1.0 to 2.0, we'll never see that difference. We'll just see more add-ons and stuff like that. I really think they're just going to keep with this system because it's durable. It's great and yeah, amazing. I, I feel like Hero Factory might have been the trial run, just trying to figure out a new system and perfect it so that they could use it for Bionicle later on. Cause... I mean, that's what I've said before about like all the stuff Hero Factory has done. It feels like a very like calculated step towards going back to doing a Bionicle relaunch, or even the stuff Chima has done. This was, this was the all just MMO, huge market, the TV shows, all that stuff, you know. Seems like slowly they built. I mean, they switched back to Blair after how many specials using Traveler's Tales. They switched back to Blair, the original people who did the Bionicle shorts for it's an Ghost, short. Blur. Oh, Blur's sorry, the Blur's people doing the Halo cinematic. 
Halo, that, they would be fantastic. Die. But Ghost, they could test, like, that could have been a test for Ghost to do, uh, to see if they could do a special. <laughs> I don't want Ghost to do the special. Their animation was good, but, like, everything else sucked. <laughs> I like the tour Mari Animation's stuff. all that matters, mess No, up. animation's all that matters for commercials, <laughs> not a show. I think they would have a much more dedicated story team if if they did a Bionicle one, to be honest. I think, like, I'll be honest, if Ghost was on it, they probably knew Hero Factory was going to end, and the story team were just like, just screw it, do whatever. You know, whatever you want, just do it. Yeah. Just make it look pretty. Yeah, That's what I would have made a picture with, like, all the names for stuff, and he said, Omega Tahu, Kopaka, Onua the Landlord. <laughs> <laughs> What? A new of the landlord. Yep. Oh, your rent oh. is in. <laughs> That's how Anua he... has all the golden armor. He just he owns so many properties. Yeah. No? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think we may be You're gonna yeah. have to pay Onua for my flat again. <laughs> Love Friday, Kopaka... man. Kopaka could kill your family with just his stare. Well uh, Well, I think we may be reaching the end here of what we can talk about. Yes. We can spe- well, not what we can talk about. We could sit here speculating all day, but we got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think now is a good place to end. Aw. Yeah. We could, just leave it. What- we could talk about how a lot of people are really disappointed about Hero Factory ending. Like a yeah. lot of people are getting. <laughs> Bring back Hero Factor. So that, yeah, that's like, actually that's something that's going on right now. Just earlier, I ran. Men- can I mention a forum, or is that not yeah, allowed? You can mention no, Eurobricks. Fine. Go ahead. Okay, well, everyone on Eurobricks is right now is just praising Hero Factory like it was like sliced bread or something. Like <laughs> it did a lot of things right and stuff and whatever. Like- but there's there's a really really huge difference. There's the people that just pretty much had the Hero Factory in their hands and then they just completely dropped it when they heard about Bionicle. And there's the people that are sort of just like, hmm, Hero Factory didn't get a proper ending. Uh, and it's just like, I don't really, I mean, Hero Factory, what should have ended? Like a giant robot came out of the city and just ruined everything. I mean, I'm, I don't really feel that uh, we need an ending for Hero Factory because... Um, Hero Factory yeah. was the kind of line to where they tried to innovate and do stuff different, and I did get behind it. I got really invested in it. And, you know, I, I love the line. I, you know, it's if it ends, that's it's kind of sad, but if it has to no! end so Bionicle can come back, that is a necessary sacrifice, in my opinion. Yeah, it's... Acceptable it's not- loss. It's not so much about Hero Factory. Uh, it's more about like Bionicle yeah. coming back, just crushes them to the ground into small pieces that you can no longer see. Yeah, like Bionicle uses the HF build system. There's literally nothing that Hero Factory would offer now to keep it around that Bionicle could not do and better. <laughs> Carmen Ryder Kiva just posted, I can't wait to see the reaction from the TTV crew XD posted on Eurobrick. Then I replied and was like, spoiler alert, freaked out. <laughs> yeah. Some dude posted in the comments saying, we'll never see that speculation video you were going to do after the first image leaked, are we? Yeah, and I'm kind of confused because we did put up our speculation video. Oh, no, he, he's talking about the one uh, we said in some video, we made an offhand mention we were going to do. It yeah, we, we said we were going to do. Oh, that one. Names. To which right, right, right. You, you are going to see that video, but because of its irrelevant info, you'll see it in a bit of a different way. And we'll yeah, we're not details on that over the next day or so. So. Oh, look, Shern's posting. It's the first time I've seen Shern post in forever. Shern, you're alive. Oh. I'm just really excited that they might bring back, like, <clears throat> collectible things, because what that really brought is that a lot of, lot of the same masks and stuff, but in different colors, so you could sort of make your own characters, and it opened a lot of mocking potential and stuff, which I really liked. And it's sort of just giving you just sort of cheating for your eye because you get the gold uh, mask compatible with the with the toe that you buy right away. So you don't really need to buy packs to keep getting the gold how or stuff like that, like it happened with Tuamata. So, yeah, we'll be showing off our collections again. Oh, uh, yeah. 
and EP is back. 14 grand for a single piece. <laughs> well, all right. Exclusive I, I, comic con mask. I, I, all I can say is ha 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 ha. Told you so to many different people in many various ways because I was right in various ways. Yeah. So, ha. About Barnacle coming back. Yeah. About so many things. So many things. I, I would need to make a list of all the things I was right about. And I also need a list of all the people I need to say, ha ha, screw you, I was right to. So. Barnacle <laughs> <Okay, Uncle, laughs> on top. Serious from Bardran on TTB. Yeah. You know who you are. Pushing down. Oh, you definitely know who you piece are. Piece by piece. Anyway. And we should also thank um, Illuminati slash highly suspect. Yes. For... You have you have truly come through. And we thank you. And the Bionicle community thanks you. So, and thank praise. you all for watching and thank you all for participating in this. What a and way I to kickstart you your TTV membership. Huh? You too. I'd like to make one last quick thing and say if you want uh, to talk more about it, you can go to our forums all right. now. Yes. And we have the link down in the description. You can register there, and uh, we're going to have a, you know, having a full-fledged discussion about Bionicle 2015 in the thread. We have an official topic for it. So if you want to you know, talk with other TTV fans and maybe see one or two members drop by and give their opinions uh, from our crew, then you can totally go there and check it out. And, pe and people may be like, TTV has forums? When did this happen? <laughs> to which we say it was a Makuta Fest thing. We'll be talking more about it. We planned to talk more about it today, but this news kind of came out of nowhere. Crushed, crushed it, sort of like Bionicle did with Hero Factory. Uh -huh. <laughs> kind of like what Bionicle oh. did. Kind of like what Bionicle did with our casting call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, I got in though, so it was good. Yeah, you made it, but you're a lucky one. What a way to kickstart your TTV membership, huh? X and Takuma. I just got in, in at the perfect time. You have no idea. Barnacle's coming back, like Wilderon said. So, woo! What about Takuma, Takuma, what, what are your thoughts? I'm hungry. <laughs> said yeah, like a all man. This euphoria all right. makes me hungry. Takuma has very clear priorities. He is a very great additional character to the crew. Thank you. I'm a character now. <laughs> yeah, we're all characters. <laughs> we're all characters in our own it's, special way. Face is a Guys, character. It took me oh. very long to realize character doesn't mean person in English, so I'm just putting that out there. Okay. It, yeah, well, English is does. kind of English is kind of a funny language. Yeah, but anyways. you don't refer it yes. to just oh, I'm just gonna hang out with a bunch of characters. <laughs> all so right, we have words like omphaloskepsis. Into a standard episode yeah. of TV. Like, okay. that's, that's Thank you all for listening. Thank you all. Are we still going? Listening. Yeah, make sure you pay attention to the name order. Yes. So we shall bring you Bionicle updates and news as it happens. Hopefully, we'll see what's in the box, and if we don't, oh well, this suffices. Please be sure to discuss in the comments and like, comment, share, subscribe, retweet, reblog, and discuss on our new forums. And also rate. And I show it forget to rate. Talk. You must rate. You must rate. So thank you all for listening to episode 100 of the TV podcast. I am Messenac. I'm Vardaran. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. I'm Viper. I'm Takumanuva. I am the almighty EXX trooper from the north. <laughs> and when we will stay tuned to TTV, your one stop source for Bionicle news. It sounds like you're compensating for something, X. <laughs> oh, okay, where did that Whoa. do that? <laughs> yeah, let, 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 we've been running for too long. Let's just. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. And done. <laughs> <laughs>